prevented the workforce in 2002. We had a short time of pay parity, and then because of the technicality to do with benchmarking, there was an anomaly created between the two pay scales. The second issue, I suppose, is on career structure. Uh, our career kind of structure is quite limited compared to, again, our bi biochemistry uh, colleagues. Um, so, again, there's much more kind of scope for proportional grades and specialisation. Uh, so, again, that's, that's quite off putting for uh, graduates coming out. And I suppose finally, then, is our recruitment retention. 20% uh, of medical scientist jobs across the country are, are unfilled. Uh, which is creating a huge kind of burden on the workforce. Uh, our response to COVID, we were at the centre of uh, the fight against COVID in terms of testing. Um, and as I said, uh, people are just burnt out where there's several jobs that are having been filled in our own lab here and of course nationwide. So we're, we're again understaffed. And again, one of the, one of the major things is, uh, is recruiting attention. We're very, very skilled people coming out, very qualified people and a lot of them are turned to industry because of the uh, work conditions.